it's a great uh, win for our football team in the, in the way that it came, hard fought, inch by inch, foot by foot. Um, and I don't expect any of the games from this point on uh, to be easy. BYU beats New Mexico 21 to three here at Lavelle Edwards Stadium. And Jason, the game expected to be maybe a little more of a blowout, but uh, New Mexico hung in there. Why did BYU struggle? This is one of those three yards in a cloud of wet sod type games. Both teams fighting for field position, fighting for every yard. Comes down to a few big plays. Austin Colley has a big day. You get Harvey Unga having a nice game that they needed. Max Hall better than he was last year against New Mexico. And BYU has no turnovers, and they capitalized on a New Mexico offense that simply couldn't move the ball. Well, they did move it a little bit. In fact, got to what looked like 14-10, but the touchdown was called back because of a penalty. This was a game that New Mexico, they wanted to stay, keep it close. They did, and they had an opportunity in the fourth quarter to make some plays. Yeah, give Rocky Long some credit. New Mexico's head coach, you, you knew what kind of game this was going to be early on when he gambles on a fourth and short in the first quarter deep in his own territory. So Bronco and Rocky know each other very, very well, and Bronco certainly wasn't surprised at the type of game this was. Austin Colley with a career high of 170 yards receiving in this one is, is a third or fourth straight game yeah. over 100 yards. This is a guy that the other team knows they're going to throw it to him and, and he still manages to, to get his yards. You know, he's just a tough kid. He's tough physically and he's also tough minded. He comes and kick returns for the first time this season and the first time he catches the ball in the five yard line and tiptoes out of bounds, but he fights back. He's done that against Washington when he dropped a few passes and he fought back and now he comes back and BYU gets pinned deep and then all of a sudden Austin has a big catch that leads to that first touchdown drive. BYU stays undefeated. They're now 6-0, and and they head into a really tough game, a short turnaround going to TCU on Thursday. And What, what kind of a, a experience are they going to have this week in getting ready for that game? Well, luckily they have a lot of people led by a coaching staff that has done this. We all know from two years ago, BYU did the same thing going down to TCU. David Nixon will be a guy they can lean on. He had a big game two years ago. I, I don't think they'll have any problems in part because as Bronco Mendenhall talked about this week, New Mexico and TCU really play a lot alike offensively and defensively. So I think one game leads into another. I don't think there'll be any huge disadvantage. They didn't have any injuries, so they should be okay. So BYU beats New Mexico 21-3. to For more on the game, you can go to CougarBlue.com or HeraldExtra.com. <laughs>